Today's People Shrink tutorial is brought to you by PSUniversity.com. In this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to set up your profile. So on your homepage, on the top left hand corner, which is profile here, click on that. It'll drop down and there, there will be three choices which you can choose from. For now, we're going to click on edit profile information. This will take us into the, the different profile information. On these tabs, we're going to start with the basic information. This is where you want to fill out your first name and last name. It's optional to fill out your birthday, gender, hometown, neighborhood, and family members. So if you want to fill those out, feel free to. Then let's move on to the personal information. This is where you want to type out stuff that, you know, that explains to other people, you know, who you are, what you like to do, and what your interests are. Feel free to write whatever you feel will connect with other people. Now this is going to be pertinent when we're getting more into the social networking aspect. So the more information you provide, the more you can connect with people and the more that they'll get to know you from an online basis. Let's move over to the contact info. Contact info, you can put your any um, alternate email addresses, any instant messenger addresses uh, like Yahoo, um, AOL, uh, Skype. You can put all those instant messenger addresses there. You can choose to put a phone number, uh, whether it's a home phone number, mobile, or your business number. Let's move on to the education tab. Here you can let people know what colleges you attended, what high schools you attended. You know, maybe uh, you have somebody who went to the same college as you and they want to connect through people sharing. You can also put where you work. Put your company name, what is your position within the company, and then what, what you do. This is just to give people a little bit more information about you know, what you do as far as your work duties or where you work at. Now we're going to load up a picture. So in my opinion, this is one of the most important things because whenever I see a profile that doesn't have a picture, I really don't get to know that person. But if you have a profile picture up, it makes the connection a little bit easier. So let's talk about loading up a profile picture. So all you have to do is click the browse button and then go to wherever your picture is stored on your hard drive. Click upload and your picture will be uploaded. Now let's talk about customizing your profile style. Click on the profile style tab, which will then take us to the profile layouts. You can choose from these six different types of layouts or for the tech savvy people, you can actually code your own profile through CSS. Once you've chosen which profile you like, just click save changes and voila, that's what your profile will look like. Let's talk about updating your status. Now updating your status is another way which you will be able to engage with others. You know, this is just like how Twitter and Facebook is where you can update your status and let others within your string know what's going on. Say you wanted to put a link or what have you, they'll be able to know. So your update status is located here right where the red arrow is at. Click update and then you'll see the box appear. Here you can type out whatever you whatever it is that you want within the status. Note that within this update your status in people string, it pretty much limits it only to 140 characters. So you basically can't write a whole essay there. So try to keep your status updates to about 140 characters. Here I wrote something uh, right in my status and then right after I, I finished writing, I just click save and then it updates my status. Now everybody within my string uh, who's within my social network will be able to see what I just updated. Let's talk about connecting your Facebook. If you have a Facebook account, you, all you have to do is click confirm and your Facebook account will be connected. If you don't have a Facebook account yet, just go to facebook.com and just register for a free account and then come back to this and then confirm your Facebook account. Great thing with this is that you earn 10 cents for that. Easy money. Now let's talk about connecting with Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter account, go to twitter.com get a free account, come back here, and then come to this page, click on that tab, which is on the right hand column, it says add the Twitter application, which will then take us to a next page, which has this little bluebird there. What you wanna do is click on that yellow box that says add application, 
Here, you can enter in your username and password. So whatever your Twitter username is, you enter it there, enter your password so that it will be able to connect from people string to Twitter. You can even select the number of items to display in your Twitter feed through people string from one to 25 items. Um, my opinion is I want I, I want to encourage people to update Twitter whenever I update my status. This way, you can connect on more platforms just by doing one thing. Then click Save Changes and voila, you're connected. Again, review this tutorial often as possible. Bring your new stringers to psuniversity.com, get them trained, and then watch your string grow.